and here we are again, discussing the collaboration between Naraka and Nia. However, today we won't only focus on Naraka, but also on the various collaborations that Nia has brought to different video games over the years. As we can see, Nia has managed to bring even elements of Final Fantasy XV into its own world. It has not only imported Noctis, or more precisely, the Engine Blade, but also its entire set of unique attacks and damages. But wouldn't it have been wonderful if our katana or longsword had possessed such capabilities here in Naraka? Who knows, perhaps in future collaborations, Naraka will grant us the possibility to have this as well. But it's not just in Naraka that we've seen the implementation of near themed skins and outfits. Even in Metroid Prime 4, a game for the Nintendo Switch, we can see certain models of skins and outfits that are remarkably similar to ours and have already been added for all players of the title. Yes, they bear a striking resemblance to those in Naraka, as we see in various comparisons. Both the outfits, hairstyles, accessories, and the various implemented weapons are highly reminiscent. However, here in Naraka, they have outdone themselves by implementing additional outfits, not only for the main characters, but also for what we might call secondary ones, and their weapons. Yes, Naraka has truly gone above and beyond for this collaboration with Nier, where the addition of skins manages to bring the entire world of Nier Automata to life. But I believe that many of us, like myself, are eagerly awaiting these skins, which we will also see in the world of Metroid Prime 4. Of course, the comparison with the upcoming ones in Naraka will be hard to match. Another interesting collaboration we have is with Monster Hunter, where we also see the implementation of Type B and Type S skins in the fantastic monster slaying game. But not just that, we also have the presence of thematic enemies and drops from enemies. And here, I can't help but wonder why there hasn't been something similar for us in the showdown campaign mode, perhaps a mini-event allowing us to battle against some near bosses. Maybe yes, this would have been a truly fascinating aspect to have in Naraka. What do you think? Even just to let passionate near players, or those less familiar with the title, relive the epicness of those battles. To wrap things up, I've included a bonus clip featuring this collaboration with the mobile game Final Fantasy Brave Exvius for Nier, featuring these charming unlockable units. To claim these fantastic rewards, you needed to complete in-game missions, somewhat similar to what happened with our event. Personally, I find them incredibly adorable. How about you? What do you think of the collaboration between Naraka and Nier Automata? Did you like it? Did you also find yourself succumbing to wild spending, buying all the skins and completing the in-game events, eagerly anticipating the release of all the other skins and outfits? I must admit, I definitely did. I couldn't resist. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you a pleasant viewing. Soon, we'll have the new skins, so stay connected and keep playing.